sound much like our guest, this next recipe is bold, bright, sassy, and red hot. Mm. Zola Nenes, <laughs> sesame salmon served with milli rice salad is yet another great Zola meal, and it's a taste sensation like no other. I'm so ready to get into it. What do we need? Okay, so I love that you said red hot because it's <laughs> from the red chapter of yeah. Simply Seven Colors. Obviously, when you're in your gym trying to chase that six pack, this mm. is a great one for you. Okay. So we're going to get on with the salmon and you're going to make the dressing for the mealy rice salad. Okay. I'm so I'm, good at making I'm just going to delegate first. So <laughs> you are going to chop that cucumber. Got gotcha. you. Chop okay. it into quarters, de-seed it, ah. and then chop it up. And then just half or quarter the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You onto the dressing for mm. the mealy rice. Whole grain mustard goes into a bowl. We've got some honey. Chef, yes, chef. <laughs> We've got some honey. Spring onions, um, olive oil, and a squeeze of lemon. And then you can season with salt and pepper. I'm going to get on with the sort of marinade for the salmon itself, okay? Okay. So into that, we've got some gochujang, which is a, Kore ooh, a Korean chili paste. Yum. If you can't find it, that's fine. Use some dried chili flakes yep. or use any chili sauce that you love. Where would I'm actually going to take the residue and have a little bit have of Have a taste. taste. Yeah, it's delicious. It is quite spicy. Mm -hmm. It's actually um, sort of the flavour of kimchi. You know, that's Yes, I love kimchi. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. that's, the, that's the flavour of that. I mean, South Africa, this is my favourite thing to like kind of show off. <laughs> I mean, I've been to South Korea like three times and this <laughs> is transporting me to the streets of Seoul. This is incredible. The yeah. flavour is yeah. deep. It is wholesome, but also the spiciness is yeah. iconic. Where can I get my hands on something. So you can get it at an Asian mm. supermarket or an Asian store. Um, they do have it, stock it in some supermarkets as well. So um, yeah, just look out for it. Uh, but so, like I said, if you if you can't find it, substitute with your favorite ch uh, chili sauce okay. or um, dried chilies or even fresh chopped chilies. Okay, that will still work. Absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm very curious to know about mm -hmm. this marriage of flavors that's coming here. I mm. mean, we do know that mustard sauce, for example, is strong on flavor. It is. Mm. Then you've got some honey there and then I'm throwing in lemon uh, juice. Yes. What are we getting? So we're making a dressing. So yeah. with dressings, the key is finding balance. So you mm. want acidity. Yeah. Mm. You also want um, sort of a rich mouthfeel, which is what the olive oil will give you. Correct. And then the mustard is sort of acts as, as an emulsifier as well as a flavorant. So okay. um, if you want to emulsify a dressing without yeah. using egg or lecithin or something like that, mm. then mustard is your, your, your best It'll bet. It'll do that. Yes. Okay, well, let's make sure we don't waste any mustard. Don't waste any. <laughs> so in here with the chilli paste, we've got um, some soy sauce. I put some fish sauce in there as well. I'm going to add some toasted sesame oil. Mm. Great flavour as well. A little goes a very long way. Yeah. And then here I'm adding some sugar for a little bit of sweetness and to add caramelization for when we actually cook the salmon as well. It's going to yeah. give us a wonderful char and that's yeah. flavour. Let's track back to when you you said some sesame uh, 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 oil. Oil, yes. You said that. I mean, it's an intricate one, that one, because how much do you put in? Oh. When do you know when to stop? Because winners know when to stop. But <laughs> I'm telling you. How do you, you know you're a winner? <laughs> and, and I mean, Zola, I made the terrible mistake one day. Tell me. Using sesame oil. And I kind of just, like, eyeballed it. Yeah. Oh. I kind of oh. just, like, hoid it. Yeah. Oh, 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 Don't do oh, that. Oh. Don't do that. What it's, a mistake. Yeah. No, it's a very strong flavour. Yeah. It also has a very low burning temperature, mm -hmm. or smoking point. Yeah. So um, use it sparingly. I mean, if you think about uh, sesame seeds themselves, they're mm. a beautiful flavour. The, this oil is made from toast toasted sesame seeds, so it's even stronger flavour. Mm. So you want to tread very lightly. Don't use it with abandon like you would olive oil. No, uh, it's not no, that girl. No, no, no. She is not that girl. And, and you know, you'll find a lot of Asian flavours are that. You know, we added some fish sauce as well. Very strong flavour. It sometimes clears the house if, yeah. you, if you open it with the wrong crowd. Mm -hmm. um, also, but a little goes a long way and it adds that depth of flavour, that umami, richness, etc. Mm. Fabulous. So you're done with your dressing? Yeah, I'm, I am done. You've got us really inspired. As far as flavour is concerned, and the smells of it mm. all coming together is stunning because this smells so divine. Oh, it's phenomenal. I'm so, I'm so happy. So you're, you're going to mix that. That dressing is for the mealy rice. And actually, you know, we're talking about Asian flavours, gochujang. You're mm. talking about South Korea. Um, mm. Yes. <laughs> you're talking Nailed about it. Korean flavours, yeah. etc. Mealy rice, however, is very quintessentially South African. Yep. Yeah. And I love that. I love how food is a unifier. You know, you can have different nations on one plate mm. and they still work really well together. Yep. So, I mean, it's quite interesting that you did go with the mealy rice. I mean, we are celebrating 
eating all things in your pantry. Mm -hmm. And But Millie Rice is something that I'm not familiar with. I'm mm -hmm. not even going to lie to you. <laughs> so being able to enjoy it and celebrate it in such a dish, for me, is truly, I I'm learning. I'm mm -hmm. learning. Wonderful. And you know, it's something that, it's an ingredient that my mom yeah. grew up eating. Oh. She, um, you know, she used to eat it as a porridge when she was younger. So when I um, sort of discovered Millie Rice much later in life, recently, yeah. um, and I was like, oh, this to me, Looks kind of gives me, conjures up feelings of couscous. I think so. Mm. So this looks like couscous. Mm. Absolutely. So I want to treat it that way, and that's how the salad came about. Mm. And actually, it's a much more affordable substitute for couscous because mm. that grain, because it's so trendy, mm. etc., has gotten very popular, and the price has sort of spiked. Mm. Uh, but mealy rice, cheap and cheerful, yeah. but so so delicious. And how I mean, do you prepare mealy rice? So you basically want to wash it because it's very starchy. So mealy okay. rice essentially is like a smaller version of samp. Okay. I got yeah, so it's maize. It's more granular, like it's, soft. Yeah. It's a maize rice, yeah. is what it, it essentially is. Yeah. So you can imagine how starchy it is. So you want to make sure that you wash it, rinse mm -hmm. it, get rid of as much of the starch as possible. Yeah. And then you cook it. Uh, you can cook it in stock for extra flavor, yeah. but boil it in water until it's tender. Mm. And to get it into to that t um, texture so that it's not clumping, mm -hmm. you want to drain it once it's cooked so that it doesn't hold on to that starchy water. Okay. Grilling mm. fish is a tricky thing. Um, yeah. But like I said, the idea is to make sure that you don't move it around too much. Let the yeah. crust form. Okay. For me, Cooking it skin side down actually is more insurance that you know it the skin will stick, but the fish will be fine. Will be safe. But for presentation for this type of dish, I like to grill it on the flesh side. Mm. I also like to take a risk every now and then. You yeah. know, Zola Nene is treating Ooh. us to really such a unique experience here. Mm. It's, yep. a it's a masterclass. It's a masterclass. It's a masterclass. Okay, let me pass this. Mm. This pass it to Tabzu. Okay, you. Oh. You pop your dressing in here yeah. and you toss it really well. Yeah. Wow. You can see we're turning over the salmon here. Yeah. And the, the secret to any fish is also not to overcook it. So mm. um, try to still have it a little bit pink on the middle. I just had a taste <laughs> and it is a flavor <laughs> sensation. It is hot. We don't want heavy food. This is something that is just yeah. super light, yeah. super fresh. The salmon flavor is phenomenal. That marinade yeah. Delicious, is hey? marinating. Yes. Yo. She must oh, yes. Ah, so, so, so good. <laughs> and also just that mealy rice. I mean, I'm new to mealy rice. Um, as much as I am a Durbanite and I know all about rice, it's my first time tasting this mealy rice and it is satisfying. It is filling and it is absolutely delicious. I mean, Tubbs has already told you. If you do want to get this recipe, head over to our website, afternoonexpress.co.za.